get any national exposure. Lately, you've changed that a little bit uh, out there in the Wall Street Journal and uh, my profile stands on the way some other things. Is there a reason for that? Well, I've only been there for four months. It's only been 101 days that I've been in the Senate, so that's not a real broad period of time to make that analysis. When I first got there, you know, we were moving into offices, getting our committee assignments, learning how to do the work, and first and foremost, our priority was to set up our Florida constituent service operations. One of the first jobs that I have is to be able to serve the people of our state, the Florida. I'm a senator from Florida, and my job is to represent the people that work here, so we spent a lot of time concentrating on that and learning the issues that affect Florida. On the other hand, I ran a campaign where the national debt was a central issue. And as we focus on the national debt issue, I've got to have, I have to speak out on that. I have to have a role to play in that because that's what I campaigned on. Um, and, uh, and, and so that's why I think you've seen us speak out more on, on those issues. You've taken yourself out of consideration for any part of the presidential ticket in 2012, haven't you? Yeah, I've said that repeatedly. I'm focused on my job at the United States Senate. I am flattered that people would think about me in that way. I think most people that say that mean it as a compliment, but I've been in this job now for only 100 days. I mean, it, 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 especially as a new senator, at the beginning of your career, you have to give it all of your attention, and I'm focused on that, and I want to do a really good job in the Senate, and, that, and that's what I'm focused on. A lot of people call this deal on the budget. They call it compromise, but it seems like you, you're not necessarily happy with that compromise. What type of compromise will make you Well, it's, it's not even about compromise. You're either solving a problem or you're not. You don't just pat yourself on the back and say, well, we put a compromise together, we should feel really good about it. We have a problem. Either you solve the problem or you don't solve the problem. And that's what we need to uh, judge it by is are we solving the problem? And this budget deal, look, I have respect for Speaker Boehner and the folks that negotiated this. I know they have a tough job and they're in a tough spot. But I didn't. I went to Washington to try to be a part of the solution. And I don't think this budget contributes to a solution. So that's why I voted against it.